Welcome to Paying Tech Bite Size Reviews. This one for the Arduino Mega 2560 Revision 3. Uh, so named because it's based on the Atmega 2560 microcontroller, which runs at 16 megahertz. It operates at five volts. It has 256 kilobytes of flash memory, that's sketch RAM, and eight kilobytes of program memory, as well as a four kilobyte emulated EEPROM. Um, power supply sources include USB here, or this little uh, DC power source here, which can take an input voltage of between seven and 12 volts recommended. It can actually run between six and 20 at the absolute limits, but you're gonna start making sacrifices there. So we don't recommend that. Try and stick to seven to 12 volts and it will automatically change over between these two power sources, depending which one is supplying power. It has 54 digital pins, all these pins on here. You can see how many there are. There are absolutely tons of them. Uh, that's why it's so popular. They're all five volt. There's 54 IO, of which 15 of them can do PWM. That's these ones here. They can do PWM. And they have internal pull-up resistors, uh, 20K to 50K pull-up resistors that are turned on and off via software. There are 16 dedicated analog inputs along here and <clears throat> there are six interrupt pins. Uh, the USB chip on board is an Atmega 16U2. This USB port here is a type B. It has 500 milliamps overcurrent protection and it has onboard four UARTs and I squared C can be provided from pins 20 and 21, SPI on pins 50, 51, 52 and 53. Its length is 102 millimeters. Its width is 54 millimeters. I'll just flip it over onto the back there for you so you can see that. Um, and it's about 35 grams in weight. Shield compatibility is actually very good. There are some pinout differences to be aware of if you're trying to stack some of the uh, Arduino Uno um, shields on some way, somehow. Um, so just be aware of that. But apart from that, very, very popular board. Huge number of pins in and out. Lots of functionality available. Um, with a 16 megahertz processor. If you're looking to make a purchase on Arduino products, please do bear in mind, if you like this video, then uh, consider making your next purchase through paintech.co.uk. See you next time.